a diarchy from Greek di, di, double, and archaea, archaea, ruled, or duumvirate from Latin duumviratus. The office of the two men is a form of government characterized by core rule, with two people ruling a polity together either lawfully or de facto, by collusion and force. The leaders of such a system are usually known as corulas. Historically, diarchy particularly referred to the system of shared rule in British India established by the Government of India Acts of 1919 and 1935, which devolved some powers to local councils, which had included native Indian representation under the Indian Councils Act 1892. Duumvirate principally referred to the offices of the various duumviri established by the Roman Republic. Both, along with less common synonyms such as biarchy and tandemocracy, are now used more generally to refer to any system of joint rule or office. A monarchy temporarily controlled by two or more people is, however, usually distinguished as a co-regency. Core rule is one of the oldest forms of government. Historical examples include the Panjan dynasty of Tamalakam, Sparta's joint kingdom, the Roman Republic's consuls, Carthage's judges, and several ancient Polynesian societies. Systems of inheritance that often led to core rule in Germanic and Dacian monarchies may be included as well, as may the dual occupants of the ranks of the Inca Empire. Modern examples of diarchies are Andorra, whose princes are the President of France and the Bishop of Urgil in Spain, San Marino, whose republic is led by two captains regent, and Swaziland, where sovereignty rests jointly in the king and his mother. <laughs> Formal use Current diarchies Topic <inaudible> Andorra Andorra is a parliamentary co-principality Its princes are ex officio the French president and the bishop of Urgil in Catalonia Spain since 1962 the French president has been elected by universal suffrage within France the Bishop of the Diocese of Urgil is appointed by the Roman Catholic Pope. Bhutan The 2008 constitution affirms Bhutan's commitment to a traditional dual government sharing power between the Drukgyalpo king and the Buddhist religious authorities led by the Jekenpo. In practice, however, the religious leaders function more as advisors to the kings than as corollas. Topic: Northern Ireland. Under the terms of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement intended to end conflict in Northern Ireland, the first minister and deputy first minister serve as joint heads of the area's executive. Both positions exercise identical executive powers, however they are not heads of state. <inaudible> San Marino The captain's regent Italian, Capitani Regenti of San Marino are elected every six months by the Marinese Parliament, the Grand and General Council. They serve as heads of state and government and are normally chosen from opposing parties. Swaziland The Kingdom of Swaziland is a diarchy in which the king rules in conjunction with his mother, the Queen Mother in practice, however, most power is vested in the king, though it is often argued that the giving of authority wholesale to the royal mail in this way is a neo-traditionalistic as opposed to truly traditional custom. Historical diarchies Sparta 
the office of king in ancient Sparta was divided between two kings from separate dynasties, each holding a veto over the other's actions. Roman Republic Following the overthrow of the Roman monarchy, the Romans established an oligarchic Roman Republic which divided supreme executive power Latin, imperium, between two consuls, both elected each year and each holding a veto over the other's actions. The historical Duumviri were not rulers but magistrates, performing various judicial, religious, or public functions. Hungary The Hungarians originally possessed a system of dual kingship, with religious authority vested in the Kend and military authority vested in the war chief When the Kend Kursen was killed c. 904 a little after the arrival of the Hungarians in Pannonia, his role was usurped by the war chief Arpad, establishing the Hungarian monarchy. Medieval Europe A peerage was a feudal treaty recognizing the «equal footing» Latin, pari passu of two sovereigns over a territory. The most famous such arrangement was the 1278 treaty that established modern Andorra. Others include Maastricht, which was shared by the Duke of Brabant and the Prince Bishopric of Liege. After the establishment of the Dutch Republic, it became a condominium of Liege and the United Provinces, which administered it through the States General of the Netherlands until 1794. <laughs> <laughs> Japan during Japan's shogunate, the emperor was notionally a supreme spiritual and temporal lord who delegated authority for joint rule to the shogun. In practice, the shogun's power was so complete that they are usually considered de facto monarchs rather than viceroys or corollas. Topic: <inaudible> Tibet. Between 1642 and 1751, political power in Tibet was shared between the 5th, 6th, and 7th Dalai Lamas who headed the realm's Buddhist state religion and various secular rulers known as Desis. The growing power of the Desis caused the 7th Dalai Lama to abolish the post and replace it with a council known as the Kashag, permitting him to consolidate his authority over the realm. A similar system arose in Bhutan, with the Wangchuk governor Penlip of Trongsa becoming the Druk Desi and Druk Gyalpo in 1907. In contrast to Tibet, the dynasty eventually consolidated its power and now rules as the kings of Bhutan. <laughs> England After the 1688 Glorious Revolution and the overthrow of James II and VII, his daughter Mary II and nephew William III acted as joint rulers of the three kingdoms England, Scotland and Ireland until Mary's death in 1694. <laughs> Canada the colonial province of Canada was usually governed by two joint premiers from 1841 to 1867. Usually, one was chosen from the English-speaking Canada West and the other one from the French-speaking Canada East. <inaudible> Russia between the February Revolution in March 1917 and the October Revolution in November, political power in Russia was divided between the Russian Provisional Government and the Petrograd Soviet, a condition described by Vladimir Lenin as, "...dual power". He elaborated the situation into a dual power doctrine, whereby communists collaborated with and then supplanted existing bourgeois forms of government. India Named as the India Secretary for the Lloyd George Ministry, Edwin Samuel Montagu made the «Grand Declaration» 
On 20 August 1917 that British policy would henceforth be "...increasing association of Indians in every branch of the administration and the gradual development of self-governing institutions." Montague and Viscount Chelmsford, the Governor-General of India, then made an extensive tour of the subcontinent in 1917 and 1918. The Montague Chelmsford Report's recommendations formed the basis for the Government of India Act of 1919 that established Diarchy in British India. Under that Act, the executive was to be headed by a governor appointed by the Secretary of State, who could consult the Governor General. The governor was responsible to the Secretary of State for acts of omission and commission. He was to maintain law and order in the province and ensure that the provincial administration worked smoothly. In respect of transferred subjects, he was to be assisted by his ministers whereas reserved subjects were to be administered by the Governor-General and his Executive Council. The members of the Executive Council were to be appointed by Secretary of State and were responsible to him in all matters. There were certain matters that he was to administer at his own discretion, in which he was responsible to the Secretary of State. Each councillor was to remain in office for a period of four years. Their salaries and service conditions were not subject to the vote of provincial legislature. All decisions in the council were to be taken by a majority of votes, the governor being able to break ties. Topic. Samoa During the establishment of the modern state of Samoa in 1962, power was shared between the two chiefs Muliatoa Tanumafili II and Tupua Tamasis Maya Ole. Maya Ole died the next year, after which the country functioned as a monarchy until the death of Tanumafili and a republic thereafter. Informal use Informally shared power Owing to Confucian notions of filial piety, Chinese and Japanese emperors were sometimes able to «retire» but continue to exert great influence over state policy. In Indonesia, Sukarno and his vice president Muhammad Hatta were nicknamed the Duimvirat Dwatungal, with Sukarno setting government policy and rallying support and Hatta managing day-to-day -day administration. More recently, the great influence of Vladimir Putin over his successor Dmitry Medvedev was considered a duimvirate or tandemocracy until Putin's resumption of the office of president established him as the greater figure. Within electoral politics, governments, coalitions, and parties may sometimes have two fairly equal leaders, as with the temporary first Whitlam Ministry of 5 to 19 December 1972, composed of Gough Whitlam and Lance Barnard, which was nicknamed the Duimvirate. Russell Norman and Metiria Toure as joint leaders of the Green Party of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious leaders. In addition to actual sharing of political power between religious and military leaders, as occurred in Tibet and Bhutan, the great soft power of a religious leader such as the Pope of the Catholic Church over a devout country can sometimes be described as a form of diarchy or core rule. <laughs> Influential outsiders The status of monarchs is sometimes impugned by accusations of core rule when an advisor, family member, lover, or friend appears to have taken too great a hand in government. Lubawe in Chinese history and François Leclerc du Tremblay in France are famous examples of «eminences grises» who controlled much of their country's policies. In British history, George VI's reign was mocked as a split-level matriarchy in pants", owing to the supposed influence of his mother, Queen Mary and his wife Queen Elizabeth. Bureaucracy 
Shared power arrangements within a modern bureaucracy may also be known as a diarchy or duumvirate. Examples include the joint authority of the Chief of the Defence Force and the Secretary of the Department of Defence over the Australian Defence Organisation. In fiction Umbar, in the works of J. R. R. Tolkien, was ruled by a duumvirate. The Omatakaya, the Navi clan at the centre of the film Avatar, are traditionally led by a pair of married tribal chiefs. One of them, the husband, oversees political and military matters while the other one, the wife, is in charge of spiritual and otherwise ceremonial affairs. The orbital colony New New York, in the World's Trilogy by Joe Haldeman, is jointly governed by an elected policy coordinator and engineering coordinator. See also Directorial system Monarchy, rule by a single person Co-regency, temporary rule over a monarchy by two or more people Triumvirate, joint rule by three people Tetrarchy, joint rule by four people Decemviri, joint rule by ten people Notes <laughs>